This video is a part of series about the trip solo that I did in May 2021 around the Northern Emirates. I hope you enjoy watching it and if you do, please leave the comment down below. I always love reading the comments from you. Take care! Hello, hello guys! It's the day 3 of my trip around the UAE and it's around 6.30 am. I woke up like half an hour ago. Yesterday I asked my friend Aisa if he wants to join me for a snorkeling trip. Uh, you guys know him already from a previous video about En Ahmur. I will link it somewhere here or there if you want to watch it. And he's the only friend that I have that's like always up for adventure at the last moment. I messaged him quite late yesterday and he's like, sure, what time? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, as early as we can. He's like, I'll be there. So yeah, we're going together. It's obviously better from the safety point of view. The plans to go to Shark Island. We'll check if it's possible because as far as I know, you have to take the boat. If not, we will drive uh, to Snoopy Island, which is like one hour away from here. Anyways, I will head downstairs because I think Aisa is waiting for me already. We'll head to Kharfakan. Wow, look how empty the roads are. Amazing. It's only 7 a.m. <laughs> I wanted to show you because we are approaching now my favorite roundabout is in Kharfakan in Sharjah it's so beautiful uh, you see this uh, I would say a pot or a jar a clay jar here uh, normally when it works it would produce bakhur like a smoke I mean it's not real bakhur <laughs> figured out it's not really possible to reach the shark island other than through the port and obviously it's not allowed through the port on a paddleboard uh, we couldn't see any boats around to take us there so we decided to go to Snoopy Island which is around 20 minutes away by car so not far it's fine there we go 20 minutes later and we reached Snoopy Island. I'm very happy because the sea is very calm today, which is not always, because many times it's just so rough. It's difficult even to stand on the paddleboard. And no one camping here today. Beautiful day and beautiful weather. I know what you like Don't you try to lie Can't see without the lights I know what you trying to hide I'll make you feel alive Even though I wanna die Look into my eyes and say I've seen too many cry is also called Snoopy Rock because of the resemblance to the cartoon character Snoopy laying on his back. The Arabic name is Jazirat al -Aqqa. Jazira means an island and al aqqa is a coastal town nearby. In Arabic they also call it Jazirat Snoopy. Hey 
Hey guys, I am back in the hotel and I am super late so I'm not gonna talk so much So I'm done My hair is still wet by the way but it's fine See ya Hi again guys I successfully checked out from the hotel and now I am on the way to Harfakan I haven't seen so many fish around Snoopy Island in my life Maybe it's because I always came in the afternoon and today was morning so I think fish is more active in the morning It's a beautiful weather today to be honest We snorkeled for a few hours, I didn't expect that We actually reached the Snoopy Island around I guess 8 a.m. I think we started snorkeling and paddle boarding around 8 Perhaps I was thinking in the future I'm just gonna book hotel somewhere closer uh, to the north because in Fujara there's nothing much to do around most of the things are in Khorfakan or snorkeling is in Dibba so yeah I think I would just save on booking there rather than going back and forth because I already went today once in the morning to Dibba and I am perhaps planning to go back again today there however not to the same beach but to the family beach on the other side I just want to tell you I'm so happy because you know the smell of the sea in the air and even my hair it just whenever I'm next to the sea it feels so like thick I don't want to end my holidays anyways I will head to Khorfakan I'm not gonna talk more yeah I guess I'll see you there already the next stop was his Khorfakan, Khorfakan Museum. I was actually very surprised to see artifacts and uh, information about copper smelting in Wadi Al Halu because this is the topic of the video that I uploaded a few weeks ago. If you would like to check it, the link is gonna be in the top right corner. Uh, pottery from China, Thailand, Burma, Iraq and Persia as well as yellowware and glass from Yemen. When Portuguese people reached Horfakan in 1507, they described it as a large city with large houses fortified entirely by land over the sea and has many Gujarat traders. It is located at the foot of a huge mountain. It is full of farms with orange, lemon, fig and palm trees and many vegetables. Much hay was left in the fields after the harvest as in the fields of Portugal. Many plots were planted with corn. It has lots of small ships which which can be used for fishing in addition to many nets. It has vast horses stables with storage for hay with a large amount of it exported to India. The climate of Horfakan is moderate. If you cross the mountain overlooking the city, you will find large fields for cultivation and agriculture. The second part of the museum truly charmed me. In this section you can see how people of Khorfakan used to live in the past. There are recreated shops and markets, cafes, a forge, a barber shop, a confectionery, a pharmacy, jewelry shop and many many other places that I don't want to reveal to you right now. You have to see it for yourself. There is kind of nostalgia lingering in the air and the museum is so perfectly made that for a moment you actually feel like you are taken back in time. I could see myself living there being a low wash perhaps. <laughs> it's a pear trader and they used to be the most wealthy people for those times. Wow guys, I feel like I fell in love with the UAE again like when I came here it's the same feeling this museum is amazing especially the second part the craft I just find it fascinating and the smell of Bakhur in the corridors you know Wow. quick stop for iced coffee in the stunning restaurant with the sea view in Khorfakan Corniche And the last destination for today, which is, if I am not mistaken, locally called Qait, 
Maybe it's not as fancy as the ones you saw today, however, I still like it a lot because you can drive with your car on it and then camp next to the car. And also it's accessible by sedan cars as well. If you decide to go for a swim, make sure to have some kind of shoes to cover your feet because this beach is rather a rocky beach than sandy and it's very easy to slip in the water on those stones that you can't see properly. This is perhaps gonna be the end of this vlog, the end of my trip. I can't wait to do it again, to be honest. I feel so happy. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this series of vlogs from my holidays. And yeah, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it, then I will uh, make more of this kind of uh, vlogs. If you are not subscribed yet to my channel, please do so that you don't miss any videos in the future and press the thumbs up under the video, it would mean a lot to me. Bye guys, take care, Masalama.